Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, and yes, I am back for another video, and I'm back for my vacation, and I got a lot of stuff from the vacation, so I'm just gonna do it all in one video to cover everything. Um, this is gonna be a gigantic haul from all the stuff I got off of the Canadian trip. So, I got quite a bit of stuff. Some of it I got in the mail, some of it I got on the trip, some of it I got after the trip. Um, but I'm just going to go over that in this video. Um, yes, I'm back from my vacation. I had a, um, a pretty good time there. Spent some time with my family and just had a good time. But anyway, on to the things that I got from the uh, vacation that we had. Um, uh, so I got some stuff from, like, Dollarama and the drugstore, and I'm gonna go over that all first, and then I'm gonna get into the stuff that I got from my parent, from my grandparents, and, um, yeah, and stuff from there, so. Um, so, um, when we were, uh, before that, I believe, um, we didn't get too much, but I, we did, I did, did get, um, this pack of Stadler, um, rally pencils, um, just because I've been, I, when I saw these, I've been wanting these for years now, so I got, like, three packs, two of them I got in Montreal, well, in Montreal, which is where we were staying, and, one of them I got after that, so this is what they look like, right there, um, and, um, then, I also got, uh, these pack, this pack of pens, these two packs of pencils, we got this, um, set of, uh, um, buffalo pencils, they also make erasers, and I got some of those too, but I'll show you those in a minute, um, so, I got these ones, and then I also got a set from Papermate from Canada. Um, and then I got this little, it looks, it looks actually darker on the, um, it looks more green on the, on, um, with my bare eyes looking at it, but, um, it, lo it's actually, it looks more yellow, so, um, I don't know, it just looks, I don't know, I think it looks nice. And I might give it to someone, but I might keep it, you know, we'll see. Um, then, um, I got these, which are, they're, um, like the dollar store pencils, but these are a little bit better quality, so, I don't know, I got those, and I also got more of the Rally pencils, I'll just show you when I get them. And then these I've been wanting for like a year now. Um, I don't know. I haven't got around to getting them yet. But yeah, those. Um, and I also got some coin sets um, and some coins. Um, I got some silver quarters, which I'm gonna do a separate video on. So I don't really. I'm not gonna show you those because it will kind. It will. I feel like it will spoil it. Because I did another video on all the coins, um, 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 all the coins, it's like a penny hunt, but I, and uh, I'm gonna show, I show other coins that I got, but, um, I did that in a separate video, so you can see that, but I got some ca Canadian silver quarters, and... Um, some other coins that I found the, today and at Montreal. But, um, here's some other coins that I got. I did search through the unsearched penny roll. And I found quite a bit of stuff, actually. Um, so these coins are from Hong Kong. So, here's what they look like. These are very shiny. Um, so. Then, I also got this set. It's bigger. 
Um, it's a Canadian Millennium set. Um, so it's basically like, I think it's like the provinces of Canada. I'm not really sure exactly what this would be, but, um, I don't know. I think it's like the provinces of Canada or something like that, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So. Um, yeah. Um, so there's that. There's... Um, I got some other pencils. Pencils and things. Let me get those out. Alright, so I got these jumbo... Neon, sorry for the glare, but there's jumbo neon pencils. I got those. Those are nice. Um, I got two sets of drawing pencils from Dollarama. Um, I got these Stadler Blue Noricas that I've never seen before, except in like a vid videos. Um, then some just regular studio erasers. I see a lot of the studio brand um, in Canada. And then these are these Stabilo Swing Cool um, highlighters, and I love the pastel colors, so, yeah, it's, I don't know, I thought it was pretty nice. Um, I think all this other stuff I pretty much got after, well, I mean, not this, but <laughs> let me go through it and I'll be back. Alright, so I went through it all, and I found some more stuff, so, um, another Canadian, uh, uncirculated coin set, um, I just like having these, just to, I don't know, remind myself of the Canadian coins, um, so I got that, and then more rally pencils, um, then these three pens, two of the Pilot Friction uh, gel pens, and then this weird, I see a lot of this brand in a certain bookstore um, in uh, Montreal, it's called Milan, it's a weird pencil with an eraser, and you know, it's a pencil, you sometimes get your finger caught in the thing though, so that's kind of, and then I got these Buffalo, um, Easy erase erasers just to have there. Then the Stadler Razzoplast in white. Um, and that's pretty much what I got in Montreal. And then after Montreal, I got these um, Amer. I got these in the Fred Meyer, and I've never seen these before. Or they could have just put them out at the Fred Meyer we have here. But they're the America's Made in the USA finest. 2HB Premium 12 Pencils, and this one is the American Amber, I don't know, and this one's Matte Black, so, those are nice, then, at the Dollarama, at the Dollarama, I got, um, this, uh, this, uh, sketchbook, it has really, really nice dark paper and smooth, and it has this on the front of it, so I thought that was pretty cool to see. And then I just got some ones that I've never seen before, these zebra mechanicals, so, got those, um, And then I also got some pencils. So I wanted I took out one of the rally pencils just to try it out and it was nice. Then I got some pencils from a place called Artbox. It's at the end of the mall in uh, Montreal. 
And yeah, it's pretty nice. So I got this uh, zebra Tapley clip pen uh, pencil. It has a clip and it has the eraser. So there you go. Then I also got this Java pen. This Java pen pencil thing. Um, it has a weird shape to it, and then this other Faber Castell pencil, and then some of these black wings she had um, on sale for a dollar each. Um, but what's weird is that they're the old black wings, but they do not have the um, the gold band, and you can tell. See, it's the old black wing logo. So I thought that was weird, and I got that at the. Uh, um, it was a gem place. It was so awesome. It was just amazing. It was an old antique art supply shop, and I just, I just loved it. So, um, I got those, um, and I got a bunch of stuff. So let me get all this for you. All right, so I got those, and then I. So what, what drew me to it was, um, I saw a pack of pencils. I got two of these single when I went in the shop, but I saw this in the bag of old art supplies, and I was like, oh my god, I'm coming in. So I came in, and I saw, got a bunch of stuff. I got this barrel, ver barrel turquoise pencil in B, and then I got a, uh, a, a. W. Faber Castell 9000. Also, um, then I got this old, this is from the 80s, I believe, um, it's an old Mars, Stadler Mars Lumograph, I can't open it, pencil set, and what was inside, it was all, these were all probably from some kids set that they got in art school in, uh, the 80s, and they probably had all the stuff in there, and then they donated it, um, so there's one, two, three, four, there's eight, um, Mars Lumograph pencils, um, they're all, I'm guessing from the 80s, I'm not completely sure, but I think these are from the 80s, and then I got a old General's charcoal pencil in there as well, um, that's my little brother playing outside with his toy, um, and then an old Abraham, a, um, Ever, I can't talk. Eberhard Faber Ebony Pencil. So, that all came in the set. And then this is the best thing. So, I I saw this, which is a, uh, I surprise, I'm going to surprise it, but it's a Conte pencil set, and the box is just amazing. But I found another one a little bit later. This one has the full set of pencils in it. This one just has random pencils, but it's so cool. So this one is a little bit beaten up because it's like from the 50s. Um, but it has every single pencil in there. Like you can just tell there's all of those pencils are still in there from the 50s. This one's this box is completely new. And I could sell these on eBay for like 20 bucks, 20 plus dollars. And I got them for two bucks, so that's a steal. Um, so here's the pencil. It, it's a little bit dusty from its years been in this box, but it's still really, really nice. So I'm excited to test those out. And I mean, I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna do an, my own video on these and like do a search through. But um, this one just that has all the pencils in it. This one just has random pencils, but I'm not going to show you the rest of them because I'm going to do them in a separate video. Um, and then these I got at, I, these I got in that, uh, in that too. Um, these pencils I got at that thrift store as well. So we got, these are, uh, three, E uh, barrel very thin pencils. Then we got a Pentec uh, color pencil, which I've never seen before. Um, a couple of these Laurentine uh, pencils, which I never seen before. And then these Twice Endure uh, pencil. 
And then just a regular yellow pencil. It was weird. I don't know why I grabbed that. Um, and then a Nora's Duetto, which is red and blue. I don't know. I thought it was cool. So picked that up as well. All these I got for like, these pencils I got for like 10 cents. Um, so that was also a steal. Oh, and one thing I also got um, at the Dollarama before Mon in Montreal was these uh, Illustrator markers, which I've never seen before. And they already have illustrator markers that um, Bailey J reviewed, and I uh, found those, but I'd never find these last time I came. So, tried those out. Um, and then we, when we were back from, uh, oh yeah, one more pencil that I got um, in Montreal. This, this is like a bright orange mechanical pencil, and it's awesome. So, um, um, so then I went to this art store, um, it was called Dakota Art Store in, in Bellingham, Washington, and it was also pretty cool, so I got this, um, this, this is just an assortment of random pencils and pens that I thought were cool, so I'm gonna do that in a separate video, and then another box of pencils that I've been a one in, but I'm gonna show you that in a separate video as well. So I'm I'm not showing you much. I'm sorry, but this is all mostly for a separate video. And then um, we we also went to a friend's house um, while we were in Montreal, and we made these really I don't know. I think it's cool. These cards we decorated them. I put my initials on it, and it's a little shark. See, for Shark Week. I think. I mean, I think that's why we made these. It's for Shark Week. Sorry. I don't know. I thought it was cute. I'm going to probably frame that at some point. Um, and then I got some seashells from the uh, beach here in Montreal. I mean, actually, this was after. Um, so, um, we found a bunch of oysters. Most of them look like this. Um, so, we got a bunch of those at the beach. And then these are some of the uh, other um, there. So we, here's like a little clam shell. Um, so like another little clam shell. A few broken shells, which I kind of enjoyed. Um, a little, this is a little teeny little snail shell I thought was cool, so I picked that up as well. And then another little clam shell. This one was amazing. My mom found this one, and it was completely unharmed and awesome. So it's a whelk shell. I collect those as well, so that's nice. Um, a small uh, oyster shell that I found at a different beach, and then a shark tooth. This is actually a shark tooth, guys. So, yeah, it was amazing. I found that, and then I found a little limp limpet. It's another type of uh, seashell that you can find at the beach. So, um, I'm actually pretty happy that I f that I found those seashells there. Um, so I found a little bit of everything for my collection, and I'm excited to add these all to that collection. So, that is actually pretty exciting. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, be sure to like it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more. Um, you can turn on the notification bell, like, comment, and share. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Creative Collectors!